Hi guys, Jeff with the Flow 2 Fishing Forum here. I um, wanted to uh, talk with you guys a little bit about fish finders uh, and uh, more importantly, fishfindermounts.com. Um, Wade, a friend of mine in Canada, uh, actually started his company roughly around the time I started the, flo the forum itself. Um, we kind of had an affinity for each other because, I mean, it's what we both enjoyed. Wade's company has done very well. Um, he produces his uh, fish finder mount system, um, you know, for the, around the world now. And um, it covers most any type of uh, um, uh, fish finder you might have, as well as really um, any kind of boat that you actually have. He's gone from float tubes and now can mount them to kayaks, canoes, uh, rowboats, and obviously, uh, you know, aluminum boats, and obviously um, your actual real boat. And I think what's kind of neat about it is that you can take your fish finder battery wherever you want. You know, you've, if you've got a kayak and you've got a flow tube and you've got an aluminum boat at home, it can move between those three, technically. So I'll just show you real quick. I'm sure you've seen them before, but I want to kind of show you what I have here. Recently, uh, Wade sent me a, a new one. Um, so this is the fish finder mount system, um, and it's, it's really straightforward and simple. The box down here, pretty water, watertight box, inside this box is a battery. The battery is uh, extremely strong and lasts quite a long time. Um, and now they have it sealed so you don't really open them anymore. You have the connections on the outside, so here's to the battery, right? And then here is to my fish finder mount, or excuse me, my fish finder itself, just an older uh, fish finder that I've had for quite a while from uh, Lawrence. You connect these two, which uh, powers the system, um, and then basically um, your transducer is mounted underneath on a strap uh, on your flow tube, no matter what your flow tube is. Um, we can actually run this around the tube now and uh, uh, with a strap around this, tighten it up. But now they actually produce a uh, glueable plate. So if you look back here on the left, uh, the left side of my boat, there's a, excuse me, there's a plate there. Okay, and that plate, being that this is a uh, PVC or a hypalon type materials that we have out there for uh, the uh, um, hybrid type boats now, is glueable. So you can glue this onto your um, your boat and you see it's pretty low profile, it's not in the way. If I don't use the fish finder mount system, it's no big deal. It's just a you know an add-on piece there. It takes a little space, but you know that's fine. That's that's what we're kind of used to if you're gonna be using this kind of stuff. Um, so I did a video on showing how to actually attach this, um, how to glue it on properly, get the right kind of glue and put it in the right spot. And so it's attached and when I'm ready I simply take the box slide it in, clip it in place, and run that uh, transducer on the front pontoon uh, out off to the side, uh, out of my way. Um, makes it all nice, tight, compact, and portable. So, I, you know, a lot of people are talking pros and cons. There is, um, you know, your deep, deep pro, uh, the little ball that, uh, you know, attaches uh, wirelessly to your phone which works great. I, I have no issues with that product at all. It's an amazing product in that respect. Um, but not all of us are, are doing that. Some of us have our fish finders. We want a little bit more than just our cell phone screen. We want something bigger. So as you guys saw, I have the Lowrance here. It's an X47. It's an older fish finder. It's still black and white. Um, I use it to meter depth to look for structure um, and temperature. That's really what I'm doing. Um, but some people like to, you know, step it up a little bit and do something a little different, give you a, a little more um, uh, structure reading. Um, you know, they really want to see the fish there. You know, they've got side scan and, you know, all different types of uh, ways that you can actually uh, use your fish finders. So this gives you the ability to take any of the fish finders on the market and take them with you. Downside, it's a little on the heavy side, but reality is once you're on the water, you don't even notice it. And my big thing was when I mounted this, you'll see it's pretty close to my seat. I didn't want it far away from me in the front because it's going to drag the front down. I can't put it behind me because then I'm not going to see it. It ended up working perfect being mounted right off to my side, off on the left because I cast from the right, but it's now right on my, right on my side and it centers itself and it balances the boat out very, very well. I don't have any issues with my float tube tipping to the side uh, at all. It just it's in the right spot. So how do I get it down to the water? That's simple. I mean, I have a dry bag I carry with me. My fins go in there, and now this goes in there as well. The whole system slides in together. Um, once I get down to the water, I pull my fins out, clip that on, set it in the water, and put my you know my Crocs or whatever else I have with me into the dry bag, roll that up, stick it behind my seat, and off I go. 
um, keeps it all nice, compact, and, and clean and neat together. So, fishfindermounts.com, if you don't know who they are, please go check them out online. Uh, they are a great company. Wade is a, a, a awesome individual who is willing to uh, step up and help you out with whatever you need. If you have any questions, please uh, let him know, and uh, he will dial you in. Um, and again, Wade has been with us, the Float Tube Fishing Forum, since uh, we began. It's been nine years now. Um, really proud to see how well he's doing, and uh, we're uh, definitely proud to be a part of what he's doing as well. Um, again, Jeff with the Float Tube Fishing Forum. Uh, we are free to talk and free to join if you'd like to become part of our group. Um, we would love to talk with you if you have interest, uh, in, in, need information on float tube fishing, um, new to the sport, or would like to share with others. It's a great place to do it. Um, again, Jeff, thank you for talking, and I'll see you later. Bye.